Hey guys, this is Nine Odd. Welcome back. And today we're going to be doing kind of a twofer because these share the same engineering. And also one of them, I guess actually both of these recently have kind of seen a spike in price. Uh, but that is Transformers War for Cybertron Netflix Bumblebee and Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Cliffjumper. Now both of these uh, were on shelves around the same time. I believe Cliffjumper was a Wave 1 Earthrise figure and uh, Bumblebee is a Wave 2 Netflix figure. He's part of that uh, kind of trio of Netflix figures that don't really have an Earthrise counterpart. I believe, I actually think I have all three. I believe it's him, Alita 1, and Soundwave. All three of those were new molds, meaning they were reshells or remolds of previous figures, and they have no Earthrise counterparts. They are strictly under the Netflix banner. Um, this is Bumblebee's uh, bazooka that he comes with. Cliffjumper also comes with the bazooka, but I have parted his out uh, for other characters, uh, including replacing one of Bumblebee's little ski uh, ski skid things here. Uh, so instead he has a runabout and runamux. Uh, whichever one was the target exclusive black one, he has that one's gun. Uh, but anyways, as per usual, we're going to slide these across. I don't have Cliffjumper's box anymore because uh, I decided to get rid of a bunch of my boxes recently. But we do have Netflix Bumblebee's box because uh, Bumblebee is actually not my figure. This belongs to my girlfriend. Uh, this is hers. So we kept the box for it, uh, just in case. Uh, and the Netflix boxes look a little different. They're the same shape. Um, but you can see Transformers, War for Cybertron, more than... Oh, actually, it just says Transformers, more than meets the eye. Transformers, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Transformers, Generations, Takara Tomy. Uh, Netflix, uh, Autobot Bumblebee, have some really nice artwork of Bumblebee here. I wish he looked like that in the Netflix show, and you can see even, like, that's the thing I love about these artworks, is it shows, like, the little pieces, like, those are little clips at the top of his thing that clip into those, and it's so nice that you show, that it actually shows how the figure looks. Um, on the back, you have the CG renders, Transforms in 20 Steps, um, four happy faces, that's weird. Um, on the bottom, uh, Authentic and officially licensed by Volkswagen. Really cool. On the side, I believe this is slightly different than the Earthrise packaging, but uh, kind of going through it. Got Megatron, Tiny Tiny Unicron, uh, the Nemesis and the Ark, Optimus Prime, uh, the Quintesson Face of Death. Who are you? Is that Soundwave? Uh, there's Shockwave down there. Uh, there's the Ark again. Oh, is that Trailbreaker? Trailbreaker Hound. Uh, RC Red Alert? I don't know who this is over here. Uh, Wheeljack, I think I already mentioned Prime. So yeah, pretty good lineup of characters. Some, I don't believe he showed up in the show. I don't think him or Hound was in that, um, but I might be wrong. Um, I think that's the space bridge over there, but uh, uh, whatever. Uh, that's it for the box. It's a pretty simple box. Uh, moving right along back down to the figures. Uh, Cliff Jumper terms, <laughs> wow, terms. Cliff Jumper turns into uh, a not a Porsche and Bumblebee turns into very much, yes, a Volkswagen, even down to having the little Volkswagen logo on the front. Uh, so I guess, oh, right there. So uh, we're gonna look at Bumblebee a little closer real quick, and then we'll look at um, the Cliff Jumper a little closer. So one thing a lot of people really don't like is that he doesn't have an Autobot symbol on his chest. Uh, he instead has it on his foot, which is accurate to another Bumblebee figure. I actually think it's the G1 Bumblebee figure that has it on his foot as well. Um, but yeah, a lot of if you're really that upset about it, stick an, auto, stick an Autobot symbol up here. Uh, make sure it's upside down, alternate to this one, so that way, because it goes like this in robot mode. But anyways, uh, details, he has his headlight painted, he has a nice rubber bumper, um, he has all the details of that vintage um, Beetle. Painted, painted rims, and he actually does have disc brakes under there. Uh, they're molded in on this side, uh, which is a carryover from Cliff Jumper since they share parts. Uh, painted door handle, uh, paint. I think the whole thing is actually painted because it is this slightly sparkly uh, kind of dark mustard yellow color. Um, back here, tail lights are painted. That's really nice. Another rubber bumper and uh, clear blue uh, windscreen. But yeah, clear painted windshield wipers too. And uh, you'll notice it does only have one side mirror that is accurate to the car uh, itself. Same on the other side. So lots of paint on this, even paint of the little Volkswagen symbol. This actually really does feel like a premium figure. I will say that. The Bumblebee really does feel super premium. Uh, one thing that's really cool as well, his hubcaps have Volkswagen logos on them. Like that's super cool. Um, but yeah, this is a very nice figure um, for such a small guy. Uh, moving into looking at Cliff Jumper, you'll notice one thing. Cliff Jumper does have a uh, five mil peg up top so you can mount stuff. Bumblebee does not. They do have their attack mode, but I'm not going to show that off. 
Um, I will. Sh uh, oh yeah, that's the thing where you stick the cannon up. The yeah, it's so stupid. Uh, they do have the skid mode too. I'm not really gonna show that. Um, on Cliff Jumper, you have the headlights and grill, little front plate here painted. Um, I think the fog lights are painted too. It's almost, it's a little hard to tell. Uh, rims painted as well, very nice. Uh, the back windscreen is painted. One thing I kind of don't like about these guys is that they're this top cover, their stomach covers are uh, clear plastic, but they're on nice thick hinges. So hopefully that uh, will last a while. Um, it's hard for me to tell, but I don't believe he has painted tail lights. He does have a painted bumper and a painted exhaust section, though. You can see his fist poking out back there. Uh, you can kind of barely see the same on Bumblebee, but yeah. And of course, he does have the disc brakes. Uh, uh, you can kind of see them right there. He does have disc brakes on his front tires. Uh, but yeah, these guys are pretty cool. They're about the same size um, in vehicle mode. So, you know, obviously since they share the same skeleton. Um, comparison, of course, you know, I gotta do it. Brainstorm, Titan's Return, Brainstorm. This is actually not Titan's Return Brainstorm, this is Retro Headmaster Brainstorm. Uh, so quite a bit shorter than him, you know. Um, we can bring in Earthrise, Deluxe Runamuck, Runabout, whichever one this one is, I don't really care. Um, Cause I don't care about the these characters. Um, yeah, a little shorter on that end. You can see that. Kind of putting them between Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. Quite a bit smaller than the. Uh... This is not a Firebird. He was a Firebird. It's kind of a mix of a couple things now, but he was a Firebird. And it upsets me he's not a Firebird now because I really like Firebirds. Um, Ectotron? Because I have Ectotron on the desk. Ectotron is much, much larger than these. Um, and lastly, a figure I haven't shown off yet um, Revenge of the Fallen. Deluxe Lockdown. Very cool figure. I'll get to him at some point. He has Axon's motor because I switched him out uh, when I was a child. And he's also having a lot of paint damage because I was a child. Um, but yeah, very cool figure. Oh, still great. All right, that's enough of that. So we're going to show... We'll give Cliff Jumper the spotlight for the transformation. Uh, they transform exactly... Actually, you know what? Cliff Jumper is a little harder to transform. His joints are a little stiffer. We're going to transform Bumblebee on camera. We'll transform Cliff Jumper off. They transform exactly the same way, though, um, because they share the same skeleton. They're one of those guys where it's a vehicle reshell figure. Uh, so anyways, to start, you want to remove this back panel from both of them. So kind of just wiggle their fists free. Um, just got to get your fingernail in there. Okay, there we go. Once you get one free, it's a lot easier to just kind of move it forward and then just kind of wiggle it out of his hand. Um, there's a post in here, this black post right there. You're going to want to flip that out. And this is where my Cliff Jumper, his is so stiff, uh, which is why I'm going to transform Cliff off camera. But yes, parts forming, I know, it's a sin, uh, whatever. Um, then we want to come to the front and you want to just uh, flip in the wheels. This is important. So flip in these front wheels and then grab it by the front and give it a good old split. Ooh, can we split it? Can we split it? Please? Please? Oh my gosh. Doesn't wanna do it. It's kind of a fiddly transformation. There we go. So give that a split and kind of bring it down for just now, for like right now. And then you're gonna to wanna to open up this chest piece. So you just wanna lift, lift it up, lift it up. Oh my gosh. Lift it up. Watch a grown man struggle to lift up. Anyway, uh, fold this down and that's gonna reveal the head. And then here at the legs, bring these apart. They're on this little interior uh, ankle hinge. Flip these forward, so boop, boop, boop. And then there's a little tab right there. You can kinda see a little tab right there. That's gonna go into one of these four slots on the wheel. So you just gotta line that up, pop that in. You know, if it doesn't tuck in instantly, just give the wheel a little wiggle. That's gonna form his feet. You're going to want to leave this open for right now and bring up these two panels. Just uh, bring them up. Actually, um, I forget. On Bumblebee, it's a little harder to do because uh, of the way his panels are molded. So we're going to bring these out like so instead, and you're going to bring the waist down. So it comes down right here on this joint. So that comes down, and then there's a rotator in there. You can kind of see it right there. There's a rotation point inside his chest, and you're going to just want to spin that 360 degrees, and then bring up the arms. There's some notches right here, notches on the shoulders, and you just want to bring that in so that way this tab is in front of that slot right there, just like that. Then you're going to just bring the arms down and flip the elbows forward, 
straighten them out. And then you take the backpack and this black peg, five millimeter post right there, blam, blam. You got a nice round back. And that, my friends, is the transformation for Earthrise Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. Now, if you'll give me a moment, we'll get tra Cliff Jumper transformed. And like I said, you're not really missing anything uh, when it comes to Cliff Jumper's transformation. They transform exactly the same way. Same if you have Hubcap or Bug Bite. Bug Bite is actually just this figure with Bumblebee's head on it. And then uh, Hubcap is just this figure with um, a new head on it completely. Uh, which is kind of cool. Bug Bite's kind of cool because it's this mold with the Bumblebee head. So like if you repaint it, it can be Bumble Jumper or Bumper, which is kind of cool. But like, if... But like, I don't know, the hubcap one, like you get three cliff jumpers on only one Volkswagen, like three Porsches and one Volkswagen, like that seems very disproportionate to me. I'd much rather have a couple more Volkswagens in the collection. Um, so if they end up do repainting this in the gold bug, which I really hope they do, I really hope they take this mold, slap on the gold bug head, give it the blue, uh, the blue head with uh, hopefully blue forearms, that would be really nice, or at least some blue uh, black of these black parts right here kind of like how cliff jumper has red shoulders uh that'd be really nice to get some blue shoulders and maybe some blue upper legs or lower legs that'd be nice um to repaint this in the gold bug i would definitely pick that up because that'd be really nice um like i said accessories um they do have each of them comes with the same bazooka cliff jumpers is a little brighter of a silver on here and his uh back piece also has silver accents on it but like i said his gun is kind of split up and uh it's very easy for them to hold it they just take that second post, pop it in their hand, and boom, he can bazooka. Uh, but yeah, typically I just give them runabout and runamux guns, and runabout and runamux have a uh, have a gun from uh, Astro Train that they use. Um, I will say this: Cliff Jumper's backpack sits a lot more stably, like. It's a lot more stable on his back than Bumblebee's is. Bumblebee's always wants to like tilt and turn and whatnot because it's more round, um, which is a little annoying, but you know, sitting up on the shelf, they look fine. And uh, speaking of, these guys look amazing. They look just like the old G1 box art. They look just like they did in the cartoon. This is probably the best Bumblebee figure we've ever gotten in terms of looking just like the G1 version. And if that means that we have to have a little bit of a, uh, of a parts form on him, I'm fine with it. Like, this looks amazing. I remember when this came out, uh, my girlfriend, and Bumblebee is, like, one of her favorite Transformers. She really loves this little guy. Uh, she was so excited to find this uh, and, like, go out and hunt for it. Like, it was one of the one of the first times she was like, yeah, let's, let's see if they got it. Um, it was really cool. But uh, and I remember when we found this one, um, the time we found this, they had just restocked, and there was two of them, and we bought this one. And I don't think we've ever seen another Bumblebee in stores. I think maybe we saw one at one point, but that might have been it. So, like, we were pretty lucky to pick this guy up whenever we found him. And as far as Cliff Jumper goes, he shelf warmed for a little bit at the stores around here, but he was picked up pretty quickly, too. Um, I know that now both of these have a pretty big price tag, so they are kind of hard to get. If you can get them, they're definitely worth it. Um, and I just realized I didn't cover transform uh, articulation, not transformation. So, uh, again, using Bumblebee because, you know, he's Bumblebee. Um, articulation is they each have a ball-jointed head. They have the universal joints at the shoulders, moves out, moves in, and uh, full 360. They have a upper arm swivel, which is really nice. Bumblebee's is a little tight because I've never used it. They have... A 90 degree elbow and mushroom pegged hand, so they swivel 360. He does have a waist rotation, the full 360 as you guys saw for transformation. Legs go about 90 degrees forward and about 90 degrees back, that's pretty good. Uh, they go about just slightly over 90 degrees out. And as for the knee, he has a 90 degree knee. And of course he has that sweet, wow, that is an insane ankle pivot. Um, is Cliff Jumper's ankle pivot that insane? Yeah, it is. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, they have pretty insane ankle pivots, so they can definitely, uh, you know, full on crab claw walk at you, I guess. Um, yeah, these are definitely fun little figures. They now that I remember getting these, and I was like, twenty bucks, really, for a deluxe this small? Because like I didn't realize how tiny these guys were until I got them in person. They are dinky. Um, so comparing them to. Uh, oh, this is Comic-Con Brainstorm. This is, uh, uh, I have, I have all the Brainstorms. Um, this is Comic-Con Brainstorm comparatively. You can see they're about half the size of a Deluxe, and Brainstorm isn't, he's, he may be Titan's Return, but he's not that much bigger than a standard Deluxe now. He's only a slight hair taller. 
uh, a little bit more accurate of a comparison to a normal deluxe now. Uh, I believe this is runabout. Uh, so, yeah, you can see, and there you can see the Astro Train gun. Yeah, you can see they're still pretty short comparatively to him. A um, couple more guys I have over here that I want to show off. Um, sh show them next to Studio Series Scourge. I have all of Wave 1 of Studio Series, I think I mentioned that before. But yeah, Scourge, uh, since they were in the movie. A um, little bit of an older deluxe, Universe Cyclonus, or Reveal the Shield Cyclonus, more specifically. Uh, lastly, according to the Transformers card game, Transformers uh, Siege Lockdown. Uh, if you if you ever played the Transformers TCG, you'll know that the uh, Transformers Siege card game uh, used this figure as their basis for the model of that card, uh, which is pretty cool because now this means that this is uh, technically Siege Lockdown. It's also apparently technically G1 Lockdown too. It's it's almost every Lockdown, aside from animated. But yeah, there we go. Uh, that is Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper, two really great figures. If if you have to pick up one, I definitely believe Cliff Jumper is a little easier to get a hold of now, uh, especially since he was actually sold at multiple different stores. He was sold uh, at retail and was not a retailer exclusive. But both of these shouldn't be too hard to get, um, at least in my mind. But I, I've seen what these guys go for. And the, I guess the big question is, are they worth it? I've seen Bumblebees go for around 80 bucks. I don't know what Cliff Jumpers go for. I think 80 for a Bumblebee is a really high price, especially since this might be getting a repaint um, as Bumblebee in the new Buzzworthy Bumblebee line, which hopefully, I really hope that's the case because a lot more people deserve to have this figure in their collection because this is an amazing Bumblebee. Um, I think if you could pick this up for either 40, 45 bucks, I think that would be my personal price cap on this figure um cliff jumper i would not pay over retail for simply because i'm not a big cliff jumper fan i picked this up because i wanted to experience this mold and i was also just picking up earthrise characters and i wanted a cliff jumper to round out my autobots um also he's voiced by casey Kasem, so that's really cool uh but yeah I, I i wouldn't pay too much over retail maybe 30 bucks for this maybe but yeah um, that's been my review of these two figures. Um, if you can find them at a good price, I definitely recommend it, but, uh, do not pay stupid outrageous prices. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.